Greetings, Israel. <laughs> Greetings. This is so you're Israel. What now? A lecture. This is not a ministry. I am not giving you no scriptures because I encourage you to read all the book for your own self. And I am not a teacher, preacher. I am nobody but your sister and a woman child to the most high. And today's lecture, <laughs> hallelujah, is on prayer. And at the end, I'll show you, for the sisters, an everyday head covering wear, okay? So I'm going to get right into it. Prayer. Who are we praying? Who are we to pray for? We pray for the fatherless and the motherless, the widow and the widower, the lost that they may be found. And we pray for each other, brothers and sisters, striving in this truth. We want to pray to be thankful for all that he has given us all that he has not given us for all that he will give us and for all that he won't give us we want to praise him for standing in our way and keeping us from our own selves we pray that he leads us and guides us in every way, ordering our steps in his word, bridling our tongue to let the words of our mouth be acceptable in his sight and to take charge of our thoughts both day and night, both day and night. We want to walk worthy according to his will. We acknowledge that we seek his will for our life and not our own. Pray that he continues to save you from you because you are your own worst enemy. Okay? Praise always. Give praise in song. Turn your words into songs of praise. Songs of prayer. Sing unto the Most High a new song with tears of joy, tears of sadness and mourning and of thankfulness and gratefulness. The Most High wants to hear from us, not just the bad and good times, but all, all the time. Feel free to use a song to express yourself, like the Yolanda Adams song, I Open My Heart. Find truth music to express your love and affection to the Most High. What is this all the time? Well, we don't live by food alone, but by every word of God. Bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. We pray always for we labor and suffer reproach we don't want we don't know people we come into short contact with people not knowing what spirit is upon them 
or what's happening in their life. We trust in the living God who is the Savior, especially to those that believe. We worship him in spirit and in truth. You don't see him, but his presence is everywhere. Everywhere. Your time balance is being weighed on the balancing scale. I think of life as a report card now. We will be judged by every word that, and that includes post and the songs you sing. Get out of the devil's playground. Stop listening to his music. Singing songs of healing, deliverance, repentance, gratefulness, sorrowfulness, gladness, and much more. I encourage you to have a more prayer to have more prayerful days on your life's report card. Say less. The less said, sin is minimized. But you have to look out for those thoughts and zap. Zap those with rebukes because thoughts count too. How to pray. What, what to pray. We are instructed not to be as the heathens who want to be seen and known for their many words. It is vanity. What is vanity? Funk and Wagner's. Vanity number one, the condition or character of being vain. A feeling of shallow pride, conceit, ambitious display. No, vain number two, van, vanity number two. The quality or state of being vain or empty or destitute of reality. Okay. Let's take a closer look at the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer covers a multitude of things, if not all things, in our lives. Along with praying for each other, whether we want to or not, no need to remember to pray for anyone. It's set up to do so. How wonderful, right? When we ask for prayer, oftentimes not knowing a person's situation, I like to say their name aloud and or in my heart and say in the Lord's Prayer to bring to the Most High attention to the person's situation and his will be done in his time. The prayer we pray and how to pray is Matthew chapter 6 verse 5 through 13. The instructions is in verse 5 through 8. The prayer is verse 9 through 13. I might have shortened 13. I will say the whole prayer. I will say the whole prayer because unfortunately not all of you know it and say it every Sabbath. Seriously. You just repeat after and still don't know to lead the prayer. That's your shame to work through. So it's our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Hallelujah. And also, there's a similar prayer in the book of Luke. If you have a concordance where you can match to search scripture, do that. Because it's there. And it goes with the line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. So, back to the prayer. Our Father, two things to recognize. One, we are calling him Father. Two, we are not praying for self, but for one another. Thy will be done. We are praying for his will to be done in our life, giving him honor, glory, and praise, just as it is done in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Again, we are including each other by recognizing the words us and our to feed us physical food and spiritual food which is scriptures because the scriptures are our meat and medicine we are supposed to eat every word of god give us no forgive us and our debt we are praying for each other's forgiveness and financial situations, okay? Lead us not, deliver us. Once again, we are continuing to include one another when we say this prayer. Temptation and evil to combat these battles we must have on the whole armor of God. Possess the fruits of the Spirit that our light may shine before men. We are daily tempted to be taken by evil spirits of others. Deliverance comes from using wisdom and the fruits of the Spirit is our weapon having brotherly and sisterly love and kindness. Brothers and sisters, the Lord's Prayer covers everything around us as well as praying for each other. Don't worry about having your own words to pray. Words were given us, say them. The book of Psalms and other books of the Bible. The book of Psalms, along with other books, but mostly Psalms, is a good book to search scriptures for prayers, for many different situations and fasting, to look for specific topics, search key words, in the concordance, the Bible dictionaries, and or Google the topic of need. Okay, prayer petition request. The Father wants to hear from us. If you living accordingly, you have the right to put in a petition of request, but you need to be living right. He wants to give to us good gifts. To put in a petition request for something, 
or the removal of a situation, you want to pray fast, wait, and let go. If you're deserving, you'll get it. You want your heart and mind free of uncleanliness and stayed on him, walking in the fruits of the Spirit. Hold, hold the Father accountable according to his wonderful mercies and promises. He is not a man that lies and is counted slack. No, our Father delivers. And um, for an example, so I live a humble life, so money is tight. So when my children would ask for things, I would instruct them, go. Go pray and ask God first. <laughs> and then come tell me what you ask God for. If he wants you to have it, he will make a way for me to get it. So my daughter here asked for a small trash can for her bedroom. <laughs> I said to her, girl, you know I don't have no money. Did you ask the father? She said, no. I told her, go pray and ask our father. You know he provides all our needs. So my daughter left me and prayed and returned to confirm she prayed and asked. I told her, now it's time to wait patiently. We are on his time. Good girl. Later that week, I went to Myers and they had the prettiest. <laughs> they had the prettiest room trash can on clearance for under two dollars i gave praise to god and look forward to getting home to show my daughter the power of prayer when you're deserving and wait patiently i've been to myers before now before she asked and first um, the clearance price was $5 originally, and then, but the, um, the first price without clearance was $7.99. After my daughter asked the next time I went, the trash can was a better deal. I was so excited for her. <laughs> so when the family looked to you, shopping and providing for the house have everyone pray first about it and then let you know so you can be on the lookout for the answered prayer ask for all things small and great pay attention to how your body reacts listen to the spirit and what it's saying about what you're asking much like listening to your body when you need to go to the bathroom. Always, pray always and everything. I can't stress it enough in all things. And no, I wasn't going to dollar store, to, to the dollar store. And that was me listening to my wife, like, nope, I ain't going to no dollar store to get you no trash can. <laughs> Unless I was led to do so. And I wasn't. And I like to share that I make a list. I, I titled this list something for God to do. Then I write my list of cares, worries, concerns, and relationships with people, etc. 
at the end of my list, I write, let thy will be done in my, let thy will be done in thine time. For I seek thy will in my life. Then I put it in a book and it's on, if it's on loose paper, I put it in a book, any book. I just slide it in a book. Um, not my Bibles though, not my Bible. Mostly because I'm not spiritually trying to worry him or bug him about it. So yeah, I don't put it in my Bibles. But any book, and I spiritually let go and let Yah. I used to be detailed about certain things, but I stopped being detailed. It was me letting go of my own expectations to receive his full blessing of a matter. You have to love truth and acceptance examples the details i would be detailed about the place i wanted to live in like my housing situation i used to be detailed about that so when i stopped i found myself in the most beautiful place to live it had everything and it was gorgeous i remember walk, walking through being like for real father for me oh how thou thou art worthy to be praised and that was the, one of the examples another example relationships so once upon a time i was writing my list and wrote <laughs> the relationship between me and my child's children's father because we had a boy and a girl together one and months old brand new baby anyway just as i finished writing my list something for god to do i remember my children's father walking in the front door in the house straight towards me it just walks up to me and says I'm sorry, so-and-so, saying my name, I'm sorry. It's not going to work out between us. I looked at him. I said, really? <laughs> now, mind you, we were engaged. He asked me to marry him twice. Anywho, I said, really? Thank you so much. I honestly appreciate you being honest with me. Then he left to go back outside. I pulled out my list and I put a check mark and gave praise to the most high. I'm like, look, you took care of that right, right, right away. <laughs> However, I couldn't get over the look on his face when he walked in the house. He actually looked like a zombie, like, I'm sorry, this isn't going to work out between me and you. <laughs> so when he came back in the house, I wanted to talk about co-parenting relationship and caring for our children. But he didn't know what I was talking about. <clears throat> but he didn't know what I was talking about. And I pointed out to him that he just came in in the house earlier and said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, so-and-so. It's not going to work out between us. He denied remembering such a thing he told me we were getting married and as he went on gushing about me i remembered the look he came in the house with earlier 
the way he said is not going to work out and then left seemed strange. So he kept telling me he didn't remember saying any such thing, but I kept going asking him, you don't remember walking in the front door straight to me? He said, nope, never did and never would say that. I was shocked, but kept in my heart and mind the stare he had on his face when he walked in the house. He denied it ever happened, and he said we were getting married, so I knew it was God speaking through him to help protect my heart <clears throat> and mind. He didn't live. He didn't live to see his 27th birthday. Our children were one and two when he when we lost their father. So I make a list and read it when I stumble upon it and see all my needs addressed. <clears throat> so Israel and strangers, I encourage you to read and get through the whole book. <clears throat> to learn how to live, to know what the word says and seek out teachers that can give you understanding according to the scriptures. Reading for self should come with a thirst and hunger for truth. When you know <clears throat> your, when you know you're less likely to be fooled into a church's stronghold of delusion. Keep the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You have every Sabbath to go over and read a long style, at least one or two books of the Bible. Make it happen. The Most High loves you. And is waiting for each and every last one of us to seek him and his will for our life. Seek out the whole duty of man. <clears throat> okay. When to pray. Eve, e beginning with the evening. Why? Because the evening begins a new day. Why? Because an evening in the morning is a day. Go back to Genesis. Evening, before going to bed overnight for overnight protection. Mornings, waking up with the, with the breath of life. Give thanks. Someone else didn't wake up. Throughout the day, to get through the day for the good times and the bad times. Before meals and drinks bless the hands that prepare the food pray that it be nourishing for the body pray impurities unknown to you be removed if it's served by strangers before reading ask to open your mind that you may understand your ears that you may hear your eyes that you may see, your heart that you may receive. When asked, when asked, anoint thy head with oil, have laid hands and pray over you or family. As a family, at times during the day, at some time during the day, pray as a whole family. Okay, what are prayers for? Prayers are for, number one, first, giving reverence, honor, and praise to Yah because he is mighty and powerful. He is our deliverer because his mercy endures forever. Number two, 
to receive an answer for his will in our life to be done, not our own will. How to? By asking him to make a way to help you receive and see to know of a surety, to put it in your heart, to put it in your mind, to make it plain to see, put it in your face that you may know. Let him know you surrender your own will and want his will done in your life. I'm going to keep stressing it. Help you to make the decision for you. Let it be known you don't want your own will done. You must be sincere of heart. The third thing prayers are for. Prayers are for petitions. And sometimes fasting is required for petitions for a more speedy response. Patience comes along with waiting for your request. Number four, prayer is for giving thanks for the things received and not received because we being flesh need to be grateful for things not given as well as the things received and given. Number five, Prayer is for healing, and sometimes, or most times, pray over olive oil and anoint thy head with oil and or have hands laid on you and get prayed over. Number six, prayer is also for deliverance during troubled times for self and others, casting your cares, worries, and concerns to him to see us through when we can't see a way out. He wants us to come, he wants us to come to him for everything. I do mean everything like you would your earthly parents. Prayer number seven, prayer is understanding he is our everyday present help. Number eight, prayer is for asking for forgiveness of sin. <laughs> giving covers a multitude of sin. Now, give what you're able. Don't put yourself in debt as false teachers do, calling you to so hundreds to thousands of dollars you don't have and giving comes in different forms such as feeding clothing or sheltering the needy etc fasting to afflict your soul helps to renew your walk we fall down many times but what counts is the many times you get up and say i'm not leaving you Help me to live according to your will. Now, the children, teach the children to pray always. When they wake up and at bedtime, over their meals, in the house, outside the home, teach them how to pray for deliverance from trouble. Teach to give thanks for all things. Teach them to look to our Father as we do as adults. Let them know they are loved. A short prayer. Father, thank you for this food. I receive it with thanksgiving of heart. Hallelujah. Fasting and prayer. Listen, we are all sinners. Only one came perfect. If them scriptures said that there were some people out there who were wordily perfect. I'll be striving to be there, but I'm still striving because it's an everyday battle. Now, 
Fasting is an affliction to the body or soul. It's a good way to be seen of the Father. It's a good way to be seen to the Father. Fast from the devil's playground. Fast from television. Fast from games, social media. Whatever you give most of your time to, fast from it. I used to call I used to I used to call it a detox. <laughs> we detox and we'll de my house to detox for a week. <laughs> okay. So a true fast is no food or drink from sundown to sundown, which I will again lecture about in the feast for the uh, day of atonement. Now Fasting, when I say sundown to sundown, when the sun when the sun goes down, you don't eat. When the sun comes up, you don't eat. When the sun goes down, you may eat. Before your fast, before the sun go down, before you start your fast, you may eat during the day. When the sun sets, you begin your fast. No food, no drink. Eat, eat the scriptures. Eat and drink the scriptures. Okay? Now, who do we pray to? We pray to Almighty God and we ask in His Son's name. Jesus is not his name. The whole world is calling on the same name. So what set apartness can there be seen? Oh, this jury pinching my head. So what set apartness can be seen? You have to seek truth for those that don't know. And to those in the truth, you must unplug your ears spiritually and your hearts and minds to receive. You've come so far, but still stiff-necked and hard-headed because you honestly have not read, is not reading, and don't want to read, but more willingly to be told. Like that's going to save you. I don't knock those that call on Jesus because I heard the voice of depression crying, saying, but I don't want to go right here, the back of my neck. That common Sabbath, the elders anointed oil and prayed over me and I felt the, and I felt an ex explosion in my neck where the voice came from and never heard it again. I later understood it was my belief in God and him sending his son to die for my sins. Miracles happen because of your belief in God and him sending his son to die for your sins. So again, I don't knock those that call upon Jesus, but though, but we're supposed to call out to God, our Elohim, and asking in his son's name. Understand the message is to God. And in closing, we seal it asking in his son's name. For the history of religion and Christianity, look for the channel Truth Unedited. Also, a book called Fossilized Customs by Lou White. That's L-E-W. Lou White. For the history of nations, look for the channel Open Diary to learn about these different nationalities and um, people. To understand Jay being added and the name Lord. Look for the book, The Last Two Million Years, page 84 
and 85. Please read the box section on page 84 and also page 305 in the last two million years. Third column under the adding the vowel sounds, okay? For teachers teaching strictly Bible, allow and allowing the Bible to speak to give you a solid foundation in scriptures. Look for the House of Jacob channel, the Israel of God, Israel, the Church of Jesus, Preacher Head Ministry, the Church of Israel. I have been blessed to visit other congregations that I will not mention because a lot of others are doing too much. And when you need just a Bible to speak, these are the assemblies. Don't get wrapped up in them saying, Jesus, you're there to be fed scriptures and learning to maneuver through your Bible to get edified. Find the teacher that is right for you. Back to the back to the name. Mercy. Back to the name. Ask God what you should call him. He'll answer your request to know. He also left us with the praise hallelujah, which translates to Praise Yah, because he knew them demon heathens would take his name from us. So think and meditate on that. Because if you don't know, it was outlawed to no longer say his name or his son's name who came in his father's name. So pray for the revealing of truth. You can receive anything. You can't. You can't receive anything when your heart and mind, you can't receive anything your heart and mind don't want to receive if you're not open to it. So open yourself to him because he's knocking. But the door to your heart, mind, and ears are closed. And so to those that know his true name, but use and have Jesus in their hearts, in their mouths, you're in danger. You don't want to be like Lot's father. Abram, who was renamed Abraham, Abraham's brother. Lot's father. What happened? Lot's father was unsure of which God to serve. The true and living God Abraham was seeking or the idol gods which their father believed in. He was killed for what he, for what we call straddling the fence. Also, Know and understand, as I do, that some folks are comfortable with the knowledge they have. And it's good enough for them. So I say to those people, don't knock the further understanding and knowledge that others have regarding Christ's name. I have no issue with the name Christ until the Father teaches and shows me otherwise. But... Don't knock those that calling him Yeshua HaMashiach. If you yourself have not gone into the studies to know of a certainty, and so I say, again, the Lord's Prayer covers everything every day and throughout the day. If you don't know how to pray or what to say, you should always, you face the east and say the Lord's Prayer. 
He knows what you need before you ask. And so he doesn't need vain babbling. Also speaking in tongues. Tongues is another word for language. Speak the language you understand and born with. And if you and if you're speaking another language, it needs to be a translator or interpret it. I watched the video, <clears throat> short story. I watched the video many years ago. There was a church revival of all different nations of people. And there was this woman speaking in tongues. Now the person sitting near her was of a different tongue. And understanding what the woman was saying and understood what the woman was saying and was frightened because the words the woman was saying in tongues was demonic. The person that understood gathered their things and left quickly as possible. So if you don't understand what you're saying or hearing, stick to the language you do know. Keep it plain and simple. Women and girls are to have their head covered when praying and prophesying. Tie a tie, tie a head covering on your purse, put it in your purse, or tie it in a loop where your belt goes. Keep a head covering. Find an everyday head covering style. I'll show you mine today. And that's the um, end of the lecture of prayer. So I'm going to unravel mine. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to first start with the smallest. The first head covering I have is this. Where you can like stick your arm through it. So you line up around your head. Take the top and just roll it. Just roll it, and and you'll um, fix it and adjust it until it looks like just a nice crown. Just a nice crown, just like that. Okay? The second one I'll show you is with a shorter one, which these two will be the same. It's just long and short. It's just... Lay it over your head, even out the ends, and just twist. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> so how I came up with an everyday head covering, I was like, Father, the day before he actually showed me, I'm like, oh, Father, I need a everyday head covering look because I don't want to, you know, go out looking all like homely. So you twist and you just bring it criss crisscross, bring it around and it's going to lay nicely across and you're going to tie it. This is good. So if you have like these smaller head coverings for your little girls and you just twist. I'm like, I need an everyday head cover. And you could just take it either way. Whichever way this, you want to do it the opposite way. And then you just lay and you could just tuck it in just like that. Don't worry about this part. Show it. If you use a, um, a smaller one like this for the little girl, it should cover their whole head. But most importantly, you need that crown cover, the top of your head. Please, 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 please. Stop having hair coming out the crown of your head, sticking out. And if you do, Please just wrap it so that 
is made sure. Don't play with the Father. Don't play with Him. Don't test Him. We've already done, we've, we're already, we, I can't even get it out, mercy. So, if it's for a little girl, don't worry about this part. It will, it will actually, it'll cover their head. But more than anything, you need this crown, the crown of your head covered, okay? And then, so again, I was like, Father, I need an everyday head cover. And then uh, two days later, I'm like, Ugh. I go stand in the mirror. I lay my head covered over my head. I said, Father, now you know your daughter need an everyday head <laughs> covering style. What am I going to do? And I kid you not, that Holy Spirit led my hands. I'm like, oh, like this? Oh, okay. I didn't even feel like it was me doing it. So I have a, a, a larger head covering, longer, larger, wider. And you, again, lay it and just take make sure you even out your ends make sure your ends are even you could stretch your arms out front or in the back but make sure you want to even it out and just twist twist if you can't twist with both hands don't worry about it wrap one on the whole one and then just go like that Once you got both of them tightened, because you don't need, you're not tightening the whole entire thing. Just need it tightened up under here, up under your neck. And again, just cross over. Once you cross over, you want to to lay nice and neatly so you have the lines going nice and straight, okay? You could take it from to the middle and twist. Twist, 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 twist. And just keep twisting. And lay it over. Either lay over this way, or depending on which direction you started to tie. And sometimes you might have to adjust it to make it and, and twist on the side. and bring it over, bring it over, uh oh, <laughs> you bring it over, don't worry about that, bring it over and tuck it in in the back, tuck it in in the back, and then you will use the sides to just bring it over and to bring it over and tuck like a pocket. Bring it over and tuck it like it's a pocket. If you have like some of the ends, bring it over and tuck it like a pocket. I probably should have used a uh, different colored head tie because the black, I don't know if you could get a good look, but you then have you an everyday head covering that don't look that keep you from wearing your bonnet basically 
I'm just trying to say to keep you from wearing to keep you from wearing your bonnet, okay? Oh mercy. To keep you from wearing your bonnet. So again, this is so you is so you is real. What now? A lecture. And today's lecture was on prayer. Shalom.